Hey, what is up ladies and gentlemen? In this video, I'm going to show you a detailed tutorial on how to create an Outbrain campaign for an affiliate marketing offer. So with that being said, let's just get right into it. So I'm inside my Outbrain account and all I got to do is come and click on add campaign. And the very first thing that you'll want to do is label the campaign and I have a little, uh, I have a labeling strategy that helps me keep things organized. So I do offer name, the angle, the vice, and country, and then the date. So for this example campaign, we're going to piggyback off of my previous video, the Rev Content case study where we promoted the Nervogen uh, ClickBank offer. So I'll label it Nervogen, Angle 1, Relieve, Neuropathy, Device. For this campaign, we can go oops, <laughs> uh, Desktop. And then I could do USA, but I'm not going to put the country in there. And then the date, today is March 2nd. So I feel like it's very important to have your campaign name labeled in a very organized way. So for Outbrain campaigns, I like to target by conversion for the campaign objective. And for the creative format, I do standard, but you can also do clip or carousel. And now we are in the device section. So I could come and click on desktop. And another thing that you can optionally do, I don't do this, but you definitely can. Um, you can come look by OS and browser. So you could be like, oh, I only want to do Android and iOS and test those two. Or let's say you only want to do Android and uh, Windows. Uh, you can do that. But I like to uh, just have them all. I like to test them all and let the data speak for itself. And then there's an option for Wi-Fi connections exclusively. But that's only for smartphone and tablet. For the optimization mode, you can go fully automatic, semi-automatic, target CPA or target ROAS, uh, return on ad spend. Recently, I've been sticking with the target CPA. So I didn't cover creating a conversion in Outbrain, but all you have to do is, so right here, we're in the campaigns tab. If you just go one down, you can click on conversions and then you can uh, label it accordingly. So I'm just gonna go pick one that I created inside of my native mastery course. I actually ran a campaign for Nervogen and had really good results in the first few days that we ran the campaign and that was super exciting. So for the target CPA, the average payout for Nervogen is 140, but you also have to factor in that there is gonna be a hit with refunds and chargebacks. That's one of the downsides of ClickBank. So if the average payout is like 140, I can assume that at least $20 of each uh, sale will be dedicated to going to the refunds and chargebacks. So I could realistically expect to get paid like 120. And I wanna, if I wanna run the campaign at a 50% uh, ROI, then I would need to get a CPA of $80. So if I get an $80 uh, CPA, I'm making 120 so the profit is 40 per conversion on average in a perfect world so that's what I would like to do is the target CPA of 80 so then I'll let Outbrain try to get as many conversions as they can for $80 or under and even if they go a little bit above 80 that would still be a profitable campaign you can optionally run an experiment but I don't like to do that uh, the cost per link click this is up to you they give you the CPC range and it's 52 cents to $1.74. Remember, you can always come back in and adjust that. So for this campaign, since we're running it on desktop, we can do like a 50 cent or 60 cent cost per click. And then once it gets approved and we start seeing the impressions and the traffic coming in, if it's not at the level we want it to be at, we can just go up the bit. So I'll do 54. So I like to start my campaigns at $100 a day. I believe you can go down to $20 a day, the minimum daily budget. Yeah, so that's cool. If you don't want to do 100, you definitely don't have to. And a little disclaimer that your actual daily ad spend might be 20% higher. And we are okay with that. We can run continuously, but we could start it for the day after, which is March 3rd. And the cool thing about Outbrain is that you can set a schedule. So if you don't want your ad showing from like midnight to 6 a.m., like this range, we can just uh, make sure to choose the times Oops. past this. So anything that is dark blue, that means that you want to target that time. So if you don't want to target this, you got to keep these gray. And then you can hover down and then across. So we're telling Outbrain that we only want to run our campaign Monday through Sunday, 
from 8 a.m. till midnight and you can even take this one out from 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. and for example if you know that on Saturday Sunday during the early 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 hours uh, works for you you can come and include that or exclude so I think that's really cool that Outbrain has that so the location I'm not gonna be doing worldwide um, United States is what I usually target so Outbrain also has audience targeting um, you can include people that match any of the following so if you're running a business offer you can come look um, or maybe you're running a credit card lead gen offer an investing offer or anything you want you can target by interest that is a super super cool thing and they even have a health interest so if you're running a weight loss offer you can come and target the weight loss interest and by doing that your click through rate is probably gonna go sky high which is cool so depending on the offer you're running I would definitely just uh, come look through all these interests and attributes and see what would make sense for you to target and then split test against uh, the interests and attributes versus going broad I think that would be a good split test so advanced placements and targeting uh, another cool thing that Outbrain lets you do is you can um, you can run on MSN exclusively so Microsoft News or MSN is I mean they have a whole whole bunch of traffic and it's real high quality traffic so what you can do is you can create a separate campaign that targets MSN exclusively and then split test that against uh, a different campaign that just targets broad so I've done those split tests before and MSN does have really good traffic so you can choose high impact placements but you'll have to increase your bid to a dollar at least so the minimum cost per click is a dollar if you want to run on high impact placements so I'm not going to choose that and you can exclude ad block users if you want um, all you got to do is turn that on um, I'm not going to do that dynamic retargeting I don't do any of that so for the tracking I'm not going to cover tracking in this video because that will take too long so if you're using direct tracking you can just come paste in the suffix style tracking code right there and then continue on to the next step and then this is where we get to the fun part so this is where you can actually start creating your outbrain ads so the recommended image size for outbrain is 1200 by 800 i believe yep 1200 by 800 is recommended so i'm going to go upload an image that we used in our previous uh, native ads case study for rev content i'm just going to use that same image so I'm gonna go choose that right now. Okay, so I uploaded the same image we did for the Rev Content uh, campaign, and now we can come paste in some headlines. So this is the first one. This simple method relieves neuropathy, watch. And then the second one, um, remember this is just an example, but you, you can always test out watch uh, against watch video. And you never know, like a simple little tweak like this could have a huge difference. I'm just gonna come paste in the other ones. Easy method relieves neuropathy in a few days. And you remember how we labeled our campaign? We had A1 for angle one, relieve neuropathy. Because the general flow of this first campaign or this first angle has relieves neuropathy in the, um, in the headlines. So that's just a way to stay organized and do good angle tests. This simple stretch relieves neuropathy, see video. So you see how we did see video instead of watch and then watch video. So there's some good tests going on in there. So image formatting, I, I always leave it on automatic. And then for the call to action, oh, we gotta enter our URL first. And this is the landing page for this uh, example. And this is what our landing page looks like. It's the same thing. Uh, it's the same as the Rev Content case study landing page that we covered in the previous video. And the site name, we can just leave it as it is because it just took the domain. And now we can enter a call to action. So you can either do watch more if you're running a ClickBank VSL or learn more. Those are the two that I test. Uh, learn more works good, but watch more is also a great one to test out. So once you have all that good and ready, you just come and click on launch campaign and it can take a couple days for compliance to review the content, make sure that you're not making too aggressive of claims. 
and if you are they'll just uh, pause that ad that ad won't get approved but the other ones could and then it'll show you it'll give you a reason why the ad was disapproved and that's kind of the name of the game with native ads is seeing what you can get away with uh, you want to be a little aggressive but not too much you want to flirt with the compliance line but yeah Outbrain is a solid native ads traffic source I love going direct with these guys uh, they got really good traffic and if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel yet smack that subscribe button and that notification bell to stay up to date with all my future videos and I will see you in the next one.